Sionio Iluaya Jerusalem Iluogo where we are having a 7th birthday celebration of Lady Evangelist for me, Aragbaye. Uh, it's a whole of um, excitement, enjoyment, celebration here in the city of Ibad. Uh, it's not easy to be 70, you know. Um, that's God's grace, God, um, God's giving talent, and, and it's awesome in our presence. I remain yours for lastly for April 1 event TV. Thank you, don't go away. I'll be right back. Of course, I feel happy. I feel thank you for. I feel thank you to God Almighty. God that had spared my life to see this day, to reach this age. He has endowed me with good health, with all the things that I need in my life. So I, re I have every cause to thank him. See you on you. Felicia Hall, Jogo Center, Ibadan, on Sunday, July 28, 2024, was filled to the brim as monarchs, political bigwigs, movers and shakers in the entertainment industry, business stakeholders, academia, and hosts of others gathered to celebrate the gospel music legend, evangelist Dr. Mrs. Fumi Aragbaye, who dedicated a foundation for the less privileged called Zion Foundation, as she also launched biography while celebrating our 70th birthday anniversary. The event started at exactly 1 p.m. with the opening prayer said by Pastor Uyelaja. We thank you for the life of your daughter. We thank you for how far you have brought her. We thank you because we know that there, is, there are still glorious years ahead of her. We thank you for everyone seated here. We thank you because we are handing over this meeting unto you. That you take total and absolute control. That everything we have to say or do here will be according to your counsel. That at the end of the day, your name alone will be glorified. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Followed by opening hymn rendered by all invited guests present at the occasion. <laughs> was performed by the spiritual father of the day, Pastor Enoch Adejari Adeboye, ably represented by National Overseer, Pastor Sunday Akonde, who later invited the celebrant evangelist Fumi Aragbaye to the stage for prayer. When we talk about birthday, there are five things why you must celebrate your birthday. Five major things, and I will leave the stage. Number one, the reason why you must celebrate your birthday, remember your birth. That on that night, when daddy and mommy met, millions gathered together, but you succeeded by becoming the one that is alive 
to be celebrated. We need to celebrate God. That on that night, the scientists made us to understand millions clash, but one survive. Thank God that you survive. That's why you must thank God. Out of the millions, you survive it. Number two, remember your rebirth. The greatest thing that can ever happen to any man on earth is salvation. Salvation of soul because our rebirth gives us the hope of heaven. Our rebirth gives us the understanding of who God is. Our rebirth makes us to be called children of the Most High God. And uh, the Bible says in John chapter 3, verse 16, we listen why we need this rebirth. It said that those who surrender their life to Christ, those who are born again, they are no more an ordinary person because Christ lives in them. And if Christ lives in you, the Bible called the hope of glory. And 2 Corinthians 5, 5 17 says that if you are a new person, a new, born, a new child of God, you have the hope of heaven. You have the hope that even if you die today, you are not going to hell. Another thing is that remember what God has done. What God has done. If we are to sit down and begin to count how many people were born at the same day, and many today, they are dead. Many have been buried. Many are, not, are living as if they are not living. That you are alive. And you can stand as a man. You can stand as a woman. You need to praise God for this. Can somebody praise the name of the Lord? You will not be a passenger to hell. The Lord who has been using you on this earth will uphold you to the end. And you will reign with him at the end in the mighty name of Jesus. Thereafter, the welcome address was delivered by the celebrant evangelist Dr. Mrs. Fumi Aragbayi. In a hard dress, she appreciated all the dignitaries present at the occasion, including the Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty Obadiyeye Eni Togunusi Ojaja II, and former Governor of Belchi State, His Excellency Dr. Isa Yuguda. Evangelist Aragbaye in our statement said, Today is an epoch occasion for me, a day to give glory to God for over four decades in the gospel music ministry, a day for the official launch of my biography, a day for the former dedication of my foundation for the less privileged in our society, called Zion Foundation, and a day to thank God for attaining the age of 70. Aragbaye continued, I am filled with gratitude and excitement to share the journey, this journey, with each and every one of you today. Writing this book has been a labor of love, a journey of self-discovery, and a testament to the power of perseverance, a culmination of late nights, early mornings, and countless moments of doubt and triumph. She added that she held on to the unwavering belief that our story needed to be told. Hence, it stands before everyone in the form of the book. She rounded off the welcome address by singing one of her evergreen records, assisted by evangelist Dr. Tung Shueta. Today is a momentous occasion for me. A day to give glory to God for over four decades in the gospel music and ministry. A day for the official launch of my biography. A day for the former dedication of my foundation for the less privileged in the society. Zion Foundation and a day to thank God for my 78th birthday. I'm filled with gratitude and excitement to share this journey with each and every one of you today. Writing this book has been a labor of love, a journey of self-discovery and a tes uh, testament to the power of perseverance. It's a culmination of late nights, early mornings, and countless moments of doubts and triumph. But through it all, I held on to the unwavering belief that this story needed to be told, and today it stands before you in the form of this book. Happy celebration, happy celebration, happy celebration. Happy celebration, happy celebration, happy celebration.
Privileged blinds came on stage to render their special songs. See you on your Jerusalem. Followed by the speech of Oni of Ife Obao Gunusi, who loved the gospel music icon, Dr. Fumi Aragbaye, pointing out that this point is tight schedule he rushed down from abuja and was to go back that day stressing that mama aragbaye paid a due and is now reaping the fruit of her labor he prayed for a long life before obadiye now faced the invited guests and asked uku sing 10 of evangelist fumi aragbaye's album <laughs> ti olorun olodumare ti kara e to je kon wa laye to je kon wa laye eri bi won se ndan ti won re wa won duro dada lobirin won duro dada ni ya e wo bo se da latoke dele inu mi dun ayo mi kun mo gbiyanju kupo kupo e pe bo te ma se iseju marun ma lo nbi lagbara olorun olodumare a ni damu alaye ola wa bayo loni ibanuje oni wole to kokan wa o mo ki gbogbo olori re to wa ni bi tori ibi ti alaye oba tin yo bayi eni tinu e ba dun o no mama ba won yo ni eni tinu e no o ba du ko lo la sugar sugar inu temidun leni fun ojo oni ati igbese aye yin e ri bon se da bi omo ge omo ge to ye ko tun gbe sugar mo dupe lowo olorun olodumare ti pe Muni ori ofe lati wa tori ti mi ba wa bayi mi o mo bi mo ye ma se nfe o ona yen ji pupo pupo abuja eyin na mo gbo n to fe sele lori de a ni ri damu lori ilede yi o 
ani ri wala a mo pe ilu le lagbara olorun olodumare gbogbo to le o nbo wa dero eni to ba mo rin fun mi aragbaye mewa o ma je ebun laki to kuro nbi to ma ma ko ta ma ma gbo mewa ni si se tele o ma je 250000 naira emi na wa na won to ndije o kabi ese eyin le je nkan yin tin ba ti gba mewe wa bayi emi ni ma je 250000 yen se faramo be faramo eh faramo ah ah faramo be faramo eh faramo o de en to ba mo meji la a je 500000 mo tu ti gbe soke emi na wa nu won a woman came out and sang all the songs and won 500,000 naira from Oba Enito. Adeyeye Ogunwusi, who later presented an award courtesy Evangelist Dr. Fumia Ragbaye. Other awards were received by former President of Nigeria, Chief Ulushegmo Kikiola Obasanjo, former governor of Belchi State, His Excellency Dr. Isa Yiguda, and other important dignitaries. Yes. Happy birthday, our dear mom. We congratulate you at 70. Don't look in 17. Uh, please accept this small gift from the Broadcasting Corporation of Oil State. Uh, 17 looks good on you, Evangelist Dr. Fumi Aragbaye. This is in special recognition, and it's an award of excellence to you, Ma, as a legendary artist. The management of the Broadcasting Corporation of Oyo State is proud to present a special media award of excellence to the legendary Evangelist Dr. Mrs. Fumi Aragbaye. On this auspicious occasion of your 70th birthday, and also in recognition of your unquantifiable support in the last four decades to the promotion of evergreen, impactful, and uniquely irresistible genre of gospel music that has become our soul's delight and has enhanced the visibility of both the radio and the television channels of the Broadcasting Corporation of Oyo State. We are very proud of you, Ma. Congratulations. During an interview with April One Events TV, the woman, evangelist Sarah Olajide, who won 500,000 Naira money from Orni, said she was very happy to get such on that day. She stated that she had three events to attend, but her mind told her to cancel the other two and attend evangelist Ar Aragbaye's birthday. She disclosed that when Orni Adiye Yegungusi came, it struck her mind that something positive was going to happen to her. Sir, I was excited because I never expected this. Thank you so much. Is in Para Majesty Orni of Ife, she enthused. And um, when I even took up the challenge that let, let me let me go i was a kind of will you be able to remember up to 12 you know we've been following her since um, around 1992 and uh, as uh, each song is being released so we have you know have been have, have been accustomed to it so and as i started to mention one another one will come another one come and that was it. CEO. <laughs> I say Kavye CEO. When he was coming in and they, they were drumming for him and all that, something told me that something is going to bring you and this man together today. I now said, uh, uh. so now, later on, I saw somebody sit, seated beside him that I knew. So I greeted him and um, 
Something else told me, go and stay beside him and take photograph. Another thing said, eh, you better don't go. <laughs> so I went back, not knowing that, you know, that thought that came. I never knew. I would even, you know, collect something from him, talk to him and all that. So it's a pleasure. <laughs> Thereafter, Chief Ebenezer Obey was invited to the stage to perform and he dazzled all the invited guests present at the occasion. <laughs> Ajuba ki ba she, alagwa ye, mele du mani ba ba mi mo, mele du mani oba oke. Ajuba lo do re du mani, ajuba ki ba she. Alaja mbio, fumi to ko sabinti la ye, fumi alagwa ye mi. Seventy. <laughs> Olojo bi oku ori ni Mummy arapaye Ma dugo lo we le du mari oba Emi e to se 70 o Wa se 80 o To ba se 80 to arapaye Wa tu se 90 o Nay to ba se 90 o I want to rush alone. What do I want twenty five? I shall bend Papa Rabi Odu Alagbaye, Madukwe Lowe Ele Dumari Oba. Fumi, 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 oh. Alagbaye, oh. Dukwe Lowe Ele Dumari Oba. Alagbaye. Yonju Ede Kite, Nogo Yin Eche, Pata. Yeah, me a motion, baby. Yeah, me show, they go boy, Moki. Moki will go low, they go to Akwata. Like, where they go. Moki will go low, they go to Akwata. Like, where they go, see you. Go go la, she won't let Jesus. Aya, can I do, or more commandani. At the moment today, at the Babalola, we go in, we keep quiet, quiet. Ekwe abashe oni o, akwani pele no mani oba. Oloja oni yo, aju ba lono re, e no mani ko kwewa. Oloja oni yo, aju ba lono re. Nai wala polat. While the coating of the cake was coordinated by the former governor of Belchi State, Dr. Isa Yiguda. For to mark uh, the birthday of our dear sister, our dear mother, our dear grandmother, the celebrated gospel singer. Fumi Arabai at the age of 70. Yes. So after I count 10 to 0, 
Then we can cut the cake. Okay. Ten. Ten. Nine. Nine. Eight. Eight. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Five. Five. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two. One. One. Zero. Oh, no, that is 70 times 10. 700 years. Followed by the performances of the popular Jiji musician Taiwo Omotunde. <laughs> Happy birthday, Mummy, I'm not going to go. 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 i and the first rising gospel musician, Kenny Ologwara. <laughs> Mommy, we celebrate you. Like Baba Long, we must celebrate 80 years in the name of Jesus. Amen.
an interview with Queen of Red Carpet, Fola Slim, children, friends and families all lauded the gospel music legend. Aragbaye, as a brave woman who always lay a good example for the people who love to be like her in the future. Aragbaye uh, is a woman who has absolute faith in God, who doesn't believe that nothing is impossible when you hold on to God. Evangelist Dr. Fumi Aragbaye is a great achiever. A woman who has touched many lives in many positive ways. She's an icon. She's a woman that a lot of people respect. And I'm happy to be here to be associated with her. She's just an epitome of a good woman. And I tell you, a pious woman. She's wonderful. I, if I have to describe this woman I'm holding, for the whole day, we won't stop. I won't stop talking. Because as far as I'm concerned, She's a gift to me as a sister, a gift to my family, a gift to everyone that has count encountered with her. Evangelist Dr. Fumi Aragbaye, she's uh, so humble. Uh, that's where I will start from. She's so humble that she relates with um, the least as, as much as she relates with the highest, the highest of the highest. She is very, very humble. She is very, she's like, a, um, she's very particular in everything she does. Everything has to be um, precise, precise. Everything has to be godly, like God. Like that. The God that she represents, she represents not just in words and but in action. She's been singing for God and uh, telling the people of God for 40 years and she's been so focused on God. I came from London for this. I came purposely from London to attend this. And so, mommy, you will continue to mount up with wings like the eagle, soaring in every area of your life. Very energetic. She's never tired. She, in fact, I cannot, words, I find words difficult to explain. She's always very helpful. She doesn't fear anything except God. She eventually into everything, and whatever she eventually, she will always accomplish it. So I appreciate her. Amen. 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 Achievement 70 years, and um, she's been going on for singing for like 40 years. So, um, yeah, I feel I feel very happy for her um, that she's made this day, and um, all our children are here to to witness um, the celebrate to celebrate with her. Iconic. Uh, I told her before when she mentioned her age. I sincerely don't believe it. She's ageless. She's, um, she's done well for herself. She's done well for the gospel music in Nigeria. And we thank God for her life. So she's worthy of celebration. An unusual character, a luminary in gospel music, somebody who had risen from, if you like, the dung hill, to city presidents, kings, high and mighty. Somebody who had accepted to be used by God as a vessel to propagate the world, the ministry all over the world. Somebody who had used that song not 
only to advance the kingdom of God, but also to speak to the high and mighty in Nigeria, Ever the need to save Nigeria and govern Nigeria. Well, uh, Reverend Fumi, uh, she is a mother and a leader, a family woman, the one of God. So uh, she is somebody who is to be emulated by the youth uh, as a pious human being who has uh, mentored so many people. And uh, of course she has, uh, at 70, you can see her countenance as if she is just 30 years old. Ragbaye is my, let me say it's my mother, because she's a very nice woman. I like her very much. Mm, no matter how, they appreciate, uh, they appreciate us. Because, let's say we are, we are like a daughter to her, but she's talented. Uh, she is a no-nonsense woman. She, she's a boss, a leader, a legend, and a mother. I want to celebrate her. I've been celebrating and I will continue to celebrate her. I'm so happy. Because Mama is good to me, it's good to us, and um, I can say it categorically that uh, it's one of the, she's one of the legends that we have in gospel industry. And uh, we have been listening to Mama's music right from the childhood until now. God is still using Mama, so we bless God for our life. Yeah, so congratulatory. Ah, uh, Dr. Fumi, I to say that to say that I to say to that to uh, very, very pleasant woman, um, very humble, truthful, down to her, that I know. She doesn't take nonsense. And um, she is, um, of course, um, uh, a vessel of God. She has blessed a lot of souls through her songs, administrations. She's a loving um, auntie, and uh, we really really appreciate our existence and the impact she has made um, both in the musical industry the music industry and of course um, uh, god's um, assemblies so it's uh former chairman broadcasting corporation of oyo state bcos mr nyoju adegbite and caught the event assisted by ferami babalola and fumilayo ilisami the event was covered by April 1 Events TV.